Well, hello, good evening, and welcome to everybody who has joined us, regardless of where you are, or indeed what time it is with you all over the globe, as we bring you this most glamorous of clashes between two sides desperately chasing the right to contest the ultimate prize in club football. This competition has provided us with so much unforgettable drama since the first qualifiers began last summer, and I am certain there will be plenty more to come in the last few. It is semi-final day. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. So, just one more step for a date with destiny. Few games come bigger than this one. Yeah, and the first leg of a semi-final, uh, you can't guarantee passage into the final, obviously, just yet. But you can make life quite hard for yourself, Peter, second leg. So, you've got to expect it to be tight and tense. This atmosphere sounds perfect for the occasion. And it's a case of, of releasing your best now and just finding a stronger edge, letting the opposition know what you're all about. And it's going to be tough next time round too. So off we go then. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Casemiro. He gives them some real defensive steel in the middle of the park, Peter. What he's particularly good at is nipping opposition attacks in the bud and preventing them from getting any real momentum going. He's also a bit of a shooting threat from long range too, so opposing defences will have to beware of that, and very much so. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. Alaba, oh real danger here, gets away, from... he's gone for it! Clearance and very necessary. He is not one readily to admit defeat, don't be surprised if he tries that again. Yes, for the visitors here, the thing they have to decide is whether they are happy to take a draw and yes. play conservatively or go all out and try and win it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I suppose from a neutral perspective, the latter would prove more exciting, certainly for us. But yeah, the former certainly a strategy which is just as valid here. He's pinged one through here. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Uh, that is clearly over hit. Neymar. Kimpembe tries to get it forward quickly. Paris Saint-Germain keep the ball, but can't do anything meaningful with it. Bernat. It is deadlocked. Good idea, just poorly executed. Di Maria. Hakimi. Now surely! Gone a long way up and away. Fine Eldon. Kimpembe. Di Maria. It's come loose. Isco. 
Isco drives it forward. Forward it goes. Right through the middle. And he's cut it out. Ball's gone out of play. Gets the better of his man. Oh, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Rafael Varan. Isco. Alaba. And it's Tony Kroos. Now it's Hazard. Isco. Now, can he capitalise? That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal. And he didn't go for the back heel. Mbappe. Plays it out to the wing. Timely intervention. Hoists it forward. And it's Neymar. He's got away. And he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. Going through. Gets wrestled off the ball. And the referee's awarded a free kick. Has a pop! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. Alaba. Rafael Varane. Casemiro. Up towards the front line. Just brushed off the ball there. Half-time whistle goes. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Here we go again, then. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goal. Andy Cody! Goal! Well, this guy is just not your average footballer. Alert and sharp. And while one or two others were still digesting the manager's half-time team talk, he's already delivering another lead. What a good player. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. Inspired substitution, terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Real Madrid are making a change now. Paris Saint-Germain take the lead. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. That's not going to make it. And he's going long. Maro Icardi. Kroos battles to win it back. More than happy to take the muscular approach. And here's Benzema. Loses his balance and loses the ball. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Finds him. That's clear cut. It's a free kick.
Out to the right. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Sergio Ramos goes looking. Now the counter. Now it's Di Maria. Helps available out wide. And that's been won straight back. He's had a look. Has a goal! Big relief. It just needed better contact. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Kimi, Di Maria, Icardi, and the finish! Your impression so far, Jim? Peter, they're leaving nobody guessing now. This is a decisive attempt to go further in front. Trying to play it through. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. Good ball. Breaks on here. It can't... Hits one! It's in! And with that goal comes comfort! Icardi with the smoothest one-on-one -on -one finish. He is one very cool customer. Yeah, that's brilliant from him. Such a, a calm finish. Just pick your spot. Don't think about what the keeper's going to do. Concentrate on what you have to do. Paris Saint-Germain get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. He goes long. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Casemiro... Alaba oh, They've seen lots of the ball time to go for it a bit a bit of creativity and adventure Benzema chance Size all around the ground horrible miss well, that's a real shame, because it could have led to a real momentum shift. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Prost plays it short. And it's Casemiro. Vijnaldum, Vijnaldum clips one through. Oh, some tackle that. Icardi was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Azar. Ahead by two and just about into the home straight.
half, Julie reaps his reward, kept his call whilst the defence lost their bearings. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. Real Madrid making consecutive changes here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real on a shift. We have got ourselves a game here. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. Neymar provides an outlet. Neymar, he's left his man. Icardi with a shot! In it goes! Well, that always looked the likely outcome. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant setup and finish. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Oh, this has been an immense contribution for one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Yeah, looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me, I have to say. Oh, that had to be more accurate. Tony Kroos. Casemiro plays it forward. What an adventurous run from a defender. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Bernat. And it's played forward. A real chance to break. Fine, Alden. He's got the ball, he's got the space. So that's it, it is all over. Today's game then, Jim. Paris Saint-Germain just seemed to be one of those sides that thrives on adversity. The tougher it gets, the, the more they come true.